I am in this for the relationship that I have with my students. And I am in this to be a part of their childhood um, and to be part of their story. And because they are certainly a significant part of mine. My name is Rebecca Kitzman. I go by Becky. If you see me, please call me Becky. I feel like I'm in trouble. Uh, I teach middle school last year at Hamilton and Eckstein, and next year I'll be teaching at just Hamilton. Math. Teaching math. I was really nervous about the fall. Um, I didn't realize that I was nervous about it. Um, I. I, like many, many of us, need to just know what's going to come next so that I can prepare for it. And what this pandemic time has done for me is it's made me say, I don't know what's going to come next and I have to be okay with that because this isn't going to be over anytime soon. And so when I, when I look at the fall, um, after having done summer school, I, this summer I decided to time it to see how long it took our classes to sort of become a community. It took four days and these kids are from all over the district so they didn't know each other when we started. And after four days we're finally behaving the way that I am used to in my 25 years, the way I am used to watching classes behave. And that's making me excited about the fall. Plus one equals 19. The amount of content that we are able to cover in a regular day has increased. And it's, it's again that trade-off with all those little fires that you have during class. Miss Kitzman, I need a drink of water again. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Do you have another hall pass? You know, it's just thing after thing after thing after thing. And it, it's not, that isn't part of this online teaching anymore. What you wrote in the chat, those are I can now dedicate that time just to the content. I mean, obviously to building relationships because that's within everything that I do, but the content itself, um, we get to focus on more. Tell me what it looks like on Yesterday, I have a kid in class who's very quiet, and uh, I got a private chat from her letting me know she wasn't going to be there today because her family is celebrating Eid didn't know if it was a celebratory holiday, I didn't know if it was a somber holiday, and I said, can you tell me a little bit more about that? And she went in depth with the story and why it's special and what the fasting represents. And all of this was happening after she had finished a math activity a little bit early and all the other kids were still working in groups. And I just, I, I had that time, I had that gift of time because I was monitoring what all of the groups were doing right here on this screen. Well, right here on this screen, I'm talking to a kid who's quiet, who otherwise wouldn't have shared with me about the thing that is most important to her in her life. And this is a kid that I have a relationship of four weeks with. And that's what success looks like for me. It's that, that closeness and that relationship that we can still have even though it's through a screen and it's not in person.